It's, I'm good, just to be clear. Not, it's getting funny the more I think about it. Honey, you want to just do a classic intro? All right. All right. Hello, everyone. Such a treat to have you back here on the Lush Life channel. I'm joined here by my lovely wife, Mrs. Lush. I'm your host, Leon, and Josh, the slithery bitch, will be sprinkling Ooh, it's on the Lush magic. Life fun. Huh? It's Lush Life fun. What? what? I can't say the B word? You're over here dropping F bombs left and right on Lush Life, and you I give get me. Censored. And you chastise me for dropping the B word? <laughs> Hon, do you know what we're doing today? I explained it to you before we started rolling. Something about being a boomer and a Gen Z. <laughs> Yeah. Recently, I don't know, maybe a month ago, The Snake and I, we recorded a video about Gen Z humor on TikTok, and I, it was fun. We enjoyed it, and I think you guys enjoyed it. And it was a good dynamic, because um, millennial Josh Snake is younger, which a lot of you didn't know. Y'all thought Snake was like as old as I was, but my yeah, man, my man yeah, my man's Gen He's Z. He's baby. He's tickling 23, I think, right now. Anyway, so that was kind of a fun dynamic to have that, and I figured I wanted to bring that same energy, obviously not the same video, uh, same style, we're gonna be uh, exposing Mrs. Lush, exposing, just watching some Gen Z style humor to see if she has the same reaction. Now, we kind of determined in the video I did with Josh, I kind of, I think Gen Z humor is funny. Just like random, huh? stupid, no punchline, out of context stuff. I'm gonna hate it. Yeah. <laughs> There's no, this, Listen, uh, yeah, we can't always do stuff that you love, hon, all right? I know you're usually dying of laughter, but sometimes we gotta do stuff that I like, okay? I want to be brought okay. to tears of laughter, okay. not tears of boredom. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as there's tears, I'm happy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and... Uh, blast off. Are they scared? Wouldn't you think it already be running? <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Look at it go. It's tumbling. Oh! There's a gatekeeper at the bottom. Right out of the gates, I feel like... <laughs> That's, that's relatable for you. You actually, you wouldn't even have the nuts to be next to it with a broom. You'd be like three rooms over, probably. I mean, I would find a way to climb up onto the ceiling. <laughs> that was actually pretty good, though. They, like, teamwork that out. I had no idea there was someone I waiting. I just don't even own that many brooms. And, well, there was someone waiting at the bottom of the stairs, like, on the side for the final sweep. That was a pretty, that was pretty good. Uh, the technique was 10 out of 10. Economics on 420. Why is April 20th special? Like, it doesn't show up on my calendar. So, um, <laughs> but on. if any of Come you, on. like, are not available on April 20th, we can definitely reschedule it. The date of the... Re <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's funny. No? No? Did you get what they did there? I get it. 420, you get it? That's about as old and lame as it gets. That's some boomer. -ish. Wow, dude. Old and lame. 420 memes are still pre pre prevalent. They are? And hilarious. That's Sm like an okay boomer type thing. Smonk them. Smonk them. I mean, I don't know. Smonk the dubs. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was... That's... Hey! How come <laughs> guys are always like, ah, oh, come on, baby. Let me be your man. Boy, you are under 5'10". Let me be your man. <laughs> I mean, was, I mean, that girl cracked herself up. Yeah, she did. That's kind of how you feel secretly, though. I mean, no, nah, we can't talk. We can't talk bad about no. Short Kings. Short Kings. Not. Short Kings weren't that cool until Noel Miller and Cody Cole came along and made it cool to be short. I don't know that it's cool to be short, I but mean, okay. It's cooler now than it was before those two. I would still prefer to be an absolute delectable piece of six three candy, like your husband. You lucky dog, you. Hey, son. Yeah, Dad? Uh, me and your mom need to talk with you, so be in the living room. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. It's just, uh, um, could I finish this game first? I'm so close. Sure, but uh, make it quick, okay? You got it. My time has come. They figured out I'm not the innocent Christian boy they thought I was. What a shame. The years of secrets all comes down to this. It was a good run, but whatever they know about me now is irrelevant. I must use these final moments to my advantage. With only two years till my 18th birthday, victory is practically in the palm of my hands. I've tried my best to be the good guy, but I did what I had to do. I was cautious, but unfortunately nobody's perfect. Why must life be so cruel? Why must I have to face this alone? Whatever happens next is for fate to decide. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to protect. I am an old Have you book. seen this? But at what cost? No, that we will see. You needed me? 
Grandma died. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Can you do it? Dude, that was so good, man. That's the, uh, the effort that went into that TikTok yeah, yeah. was and top the dramatic tier. Music was yeah, perfect. yeah, yeah. That was so good. Like the whole thing, he starts putting wife starts putting waifu prawn through the paper shredder. Oh, hey, at dude. least it was a punchline. No, there was. Yeah, that was good. I loved that one. My man has a future in TikToking. My TikTok, please. What? Where you gonna be To say how y'all doing? Well, shit. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Do you know who that guy is? No. I didn't either until Stop literally. Right now, no, I'm acting like you know that dude. Oh, I never in my life have I seen that man in my life, but somehow I ended up on his Instagram like three days ago. I don't know how. I was like, I was like down a rabbit hole, and he's like this older gay actor, I think, and that's his punchline. Stop now. Every video, hold on, every video, hold on, I gotta find this because you have to see it because it'll only make sense. I, it, I never would have understood that if it wasn't for randomly seeing that three days ago. Hold on. Well, sh It's a compilation well, of- sh Bruh. What are y'all doing? <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me, but- Huh. Anyways, that's that's my story, uh, but now I have to know what this guy's in. Leslie Jordan, American actor and writer. He's best known for his roles as Lonnie Gar in Hearts of Fire, Beverly Leslie in Will. He's in Will and Grace and several characters in the American Horror Story. Wait, that's how wait, I know him. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you just clicked, didn't it? You, you know, no, from Will and Grace. No, what? look at his height. Four eleven. Holy sh short kings for the win. Wait, they definitely haven't even taken his osteoporosis into account yet. No. He's probably more like 4'10". Every guy is at least one to two inches taller on the internet. Oh my God. Is that right? Yeah. Like Go six, on match.com and you'll see. Six four six five then. Oh my God. My man. All right, that's funny. Wait, 4'11"? Yeah, that's, I mean, if you're under five feet, that's pretty short. It's pretty oh. short, but he's clearly turned like, as long as you own it and characterize it, I mean, look at the right. man. He looks like a ball full of energy and joy and... Yeah, I definitely remember him from random Will and Grace episodes that were on, like, crazy late night back in the day. I mean, I never watched it by choice, but maybe, like, my roommate had it on or something. Get your widow wet on your TRD pro. <laughs> hmm? Huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that, that witty bitty wetter in case it gets rain, you know? In case you drive into the river. You can climb up your widow wetter to the top of your roof. Come on. Are they at Wendy's? Nah, just kidding. Cool car, bro. I'm gonna do the best Tommy Pickles. Hi, you babies. What are you doing? Are you imposturing me? Yes, mom. <laughs> that was AIDS. I hated that. <laughs> Whatever that what was. the heck? <laughs> Ooh, shake it off. The one before that was funny. The witty witty you're gonna climb on the roof. That one hurt, wings. though. The Witty Wada one? That, no. Or that last one? The last one hurt. Yeah, it was, that was tough to watch. Rip my eyeballs. I feel like I just, I just got a retinopathy. <laughs> <sighs> okay, apparently if you breathe out all the way and then you clench your throat, you can find out what your aura sounds like. Okay, I'm so excited to find out. What? <laughs> I do not like that. <laughs> find out what your what sounds like? Your aura, I think. <laughs> Should I try it? Uh... Didn't work. I don't think anything was going to happen. <coughs> I may have grabbed the wrong part, but I, I think I broke my carotid. You'd be dead. If I broke my carotid? Yeah. Not yet, but I'd be bleeding out internally. Has that ever happened if you, like, can you puncture your carotid without actually puncturing the skin? I feel like it's pretty terrible. It would be pretty insane. Yeah, like, that's very... Unless there was like se like severe neck trauma that was not exactly sharp. a lot of trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is why we find white guys attractive. They look like tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> that's legit. <laughs> that's good it took stuff. Took a second, but that's legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like tortillas. Ah, uh, no cap, man. I finally found the spot. I think I'm gonna stanky leg here for the night and uh, <laughs> head back on the road tomorrow. <laughs> you enjoyed that? You wanna do a stanky leg? You wanna show us your prison? Want me to help you find a spot to do it in? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> oh, man. Just the whole, the package, it was like, his name was like Real Jeremy Vlogs or something, and then he's like, typical like vlogger bullshit that no one cares about. <laughs> Skinny white dude with no rhythm. <laughs> I think I'm just going to stank you like here for the night. <laughs> it's, I'm just, just it's to be clear. It's getting funny the more I think about it. <laughs> Want to watch it again? Yeah, Just to be crystal clear, I'm only laughing at you laughing. It wasn't a bad one by any means, but I'm laughing because you're dead. <laughs> but I finally found a spot. I think I'm going to stanky leg here for the night and uh, head back on the road tomorrow. It's <laughs> just... <laughs> Why, dude? You never know what's going to make you tick. Uh, I know. You just don't. Wait, you're like legit crying. I'm actually crying. I'm, I'm spritzing right now. Oh, my God, dude. Ugh. Oh, it's your contacts, right? Definitely my contacts. Wow, bro. That one, like, for, it literally didn't strike me immediately, and then I processed it. And it got even funnier? And it crept on me. It crept so hard. Holy sh... Product may expose you to chemicals which are known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Jesus. <laughs> That's... I didn't even know they... I I feel like I know that about a lot of these like cheap foods, but they don't usually put it on the bag. I guess they probably have to now, at least in California. I've definitely like seen Calif something like that printed. Where it's like this could cause cancer if you eat it. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's crazy that we also consume that for years and years before they actually even had to put a warning label on it. The FDA in big food in Monsantos, it's all just a lobbied multi-billion right. dollars conspiracy to feed us uh, stuff that gets us sick to then feed the pharmaceutical industry and billions of dollars are made. Don't listen. <clears throat> You're old. I'm just kidding. I'm making, yeah, I don't know. Home you, clean up your sh and you're over here hanging up on me saying F you and texting me? Hell no. I said want to play games, game on. And obviously you want to play f games. So before you keep going on, maybe try and apologize first. Do you understand? Because I don't think you do. It was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> that, that just gave me like PTSD from what it was like to be in a relationship when you were in like college, in high school. Ah. No, there was none of that in your life? I mean, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe not to that extreme, but sure. <laughs> Probably just to let smoke afterwards. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sorry, but who made this? I mean, seriously, this shit is divine. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta it's so, me. I know, so line up so your face lines up so you can make it so, uh, okay. Uh, not face really. your face a little bit forward. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna take your finger so it looks like this. Okay. No other hand. Alright, so grab it with your other hand, like the tip of the finger. And now eat your hand. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. It's gonna disappear. Eat it. <laughs> I just the things we the things we do. I just want to know how long they spent doing that. I, I, like, how, how many takes did that, <laughs> that take? That was a long time. I'm gonna guess. And how do you find it? Like you're like on the internet, just like oh, new funny TikTok hacks to make viral TikToks. The guy who deleted his entire history. I feel that deep in my soul. <laughs> <laughs> that was I feel definitely like that was definitely the most real. TikTok on here. It was the most, definitely the one with the most effort and the most creative. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, imagine a lot of kids probably feel that way to some extent. Oh yeah, when like you think, oh, your parents found your darkest secret. They're like, oh, hon, we need to talk in the living room. And you're like, oh, they found like, oh, yep, yep, that's that, it. They yep. searched my history when I wasn't here or something like that. And your grandma died. <laughs> it's so stupid. But, stanking Lincoln in the woods. Mm. Come on. Stanky Lincoln in the woods, whether that's Gen Z, I don't care if that's Gen Z or not. That thing had me twisted. My side. Yeah, I'm gonna say that a lot of these just didn't hit with me. Yeah, I mean that was to be expected. Just kinda... though. Yeah. <laughs> if it was as usual, as we always say about Mrs. Lush, if it's people falling down and getting hurt, or babies doing funny things. We'll do like an America's funniest home videos for you next time. But I had to expose you to Gen Z humor. If Josh was here, he would have maybe found a few of those funny. Maybe he could have explained a few to us. <laughs> maybe. Thank you guys for joining us anyways, Thank though, you. in our soiree as a boomer couple into Gen Z humor. 
And We're millennials. And thank you to Real Jeremy's Vlogs for spending the night doing the stanky leg in the forest because I, I pooped my pants watching that. <laughs> well, <laughs> we are millennials. You're right. Oh, man. Always appreciate you guys. Love you. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.